Hey guys. Hey Jamie. Hey Jamie. Hey. How's it going? All right. Hey, yeah. What are those? What? Those. What do you mean? These? Yeah, these. Yes, it's my new look. It looks good. Thanks. This is a joke, right? Huh? I get it. It's a practical joke. <laughs> Gates, it's not a practical joke. He's wearing earrings. Lots of guys wear earrings. They look nice. On you, yes. On him, no. Gates. What are you wearing those silly things for? <laughs> I told you it's my new look. Well, I like your old look better. That looks distinguished. No, they need to be extinguished. Gates, come on, quit joking around. You're just gonna wear those for today, right? No. Please don't tell me you're gonna wear them during the show. Sure, why not? Gates, a lot of people wear earrings. Actors, entertainers, Christian singers. Look, when I was growing up, if my dad caught me wearing something like that, I would be standing for a week. <laughs> Gates! Are they real or fake? Real. So you mean you got like holes in your ears? Yeah. Well, I think you got a hole in your head. He does not. What's the matter with you, man? Hey, Gates, I don't believe you. I mean, what's the big deal? So he's wearing earrings. Yeah, I'm surprised to see you react this way. I don't understand. What's there to understand? I'll make it very plain for you. Guys don't wear earrings. They do, too. Not where I come from. If the people in the neighborhood where I grew up in saw him like that, they would think he was sort of... <laughs> okay, everybody. Obviously, we got a difference of opinion, so why don't we just drop it and be one big happy family? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, I agree. Yeah, Jamie, just drop the earrings and we can be one big happy family. Hey, guys. Hi, Travis. Hey, Travis. Take a look at Jamie. Gates. Hey, man. Hey, Travis. You notice anything? No. Why? What you mean, no? See, told ya. The things in his ears... Oh, hey, that's look pretty good. See? Are you crazy, too? <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Why? What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? A lot of guys wear earrings. I don't. You don't. Rudy doesn't. Mr. Wheeler doesn't. And he didn't. Well, they still look pretty good. I have heard enough. I gotta go get some air. <laughs> Gates. Gates. What I say? Nothing, it's not you. He came at you pretty hard. He's just joking, that's all. Didn't sound like he was joking to me. It sounded like he was serious. Gates and I are buddies. He's just fooling around. You'll see. Hey Gates, you got a minute? Sure. Uh you doing alright? <laughs> what you mean? Well, I, I just never seen you react that way to another cast member. I know Jamie thought you were joking, but I wasn't so sure, were you? No, I wasn't joking. And I hope you don't let him wear those things in the show. Because if you do, I'm gonna have a real problem. Why? What's up? Well, I, I just don't think it's right. I don't think guys should wear earrings. It's, it's a worldly thing. Christians are always copying the world, and I don't think that's what God had in mind. We are supposed to show Jesus to the world. But it seems like the world has a greater impact in showing us the world. You understand? Yeah, I think so. Listen, when I grew up, you never saw a man or a boy with earrings. I'm telling you, it's a worldly thing that has worked its way into the church. But this isn't a life or death issue. You don't want to risk ruining a friendship over this. I am not going to ruin a friendship. I just spoke my piece about it. But if Jamie wants to wear earrings, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. Well, you can keep him from wearing them in the show, can't you? Well... You're the director, aren't you? I think you can keep those things off him. Well, what if I don't? Well, I don't know what to say then. I just hope it doesn't come to that. Gates, you could be putting me in a really tough position. I'm not trying to put anybody in a tough position. This is just a very serious issue to me. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to me about it. Um, I'll get back to you later. You can just go back to work. Okay, buddy, there you go. All right, what's this routine about? Well, it's about a son who wants to be like other people, people he idolizes. So you will be playing the son, and I will be playing the father, 
And I kind of wrote this for a backwoods farm family, so kind of keep that in mind when you read it, because I want it to be funny. Oh, is that what this is supposed to be? Uh -huh. <laughs> Just read it and tell me what you think, because it's set to play out in three scenes. So we'll do the first in the beginning of the show, the second in the middle, and hopefully Rudy will let us close the show with the ending. I've got parts one and two, but I don't see three. Well, yeah, that's because I don't have it done yet, but I will have it done by the end of the day. No problem. Hey, Jamie. Thing may be pretty small, man, but them <laughs> lights make it look pretty good. You think so? Yeah. Thanks. Handy Kelly. Kelly, come up here. Will I have your scripts? Could you come get them, please? What are they? This is that farm family idea that I told you about. I've already given Jamie his script. Now here's yours. And this is Kelly's. Now, we're gonna try to play this out in three scenes, but I've only gotten two scenes done so far. So I should have the third scene sometime later today. Okay. So you girls gonna be free to work on this? Yeah, in a little while. Well, when's a little while? Um, shorter than after lunch, but longer than in the next five minutes. You know, <laughs> a little while. Okay, well, in a little while, why don't you and Kelly mosey on down to the stage and we'll start working on these scenes. Will do. And since you won't be coming back for a little while, I'll just dig through the props and see what kind of farm thingamajigs I can come up with. You do that. Oh, and tell Kelly that we're going to try to play this as a backwoods southern farm type, so I'm going to need both of you to do some sort of a accent. Oh, accents are easy. I think we can manage that. No, not British. All right, what if we give the farm, like, a big city feel? What do you think about that? No, our family is not from New York City. Well, those are the only two accents I know. Unless you want to make some from Paris. No, no French, no British, no New York. I need Southern. Better yet, I need a cowboy Southern. Cowboy Southern? I'm gonna have to work on that yet. Well, you do that. Dad, what am I good at? I mean, really good at? Well, son, you're good at a lot of things. But I want to do something that I'm really good at. Well, son, like I said, you're good at a lot of things. But what? What am I really good at? Well, son, you're, you're good at roping calves. You're good at milking cows. As a matter of fact, I've never seen anyone milk a cow as fast as you can. But, Dad, I don't want to be milking cows. What else am I good at? Well, son, like I said, you're good at a lot of things. I tell you, you're just going to have to give me time to think about it, all right? Go and ask your mom. And while you're doing that, just give me time to think about it. And that's where the first part ends. And this is when Jamie goes and talks to his mama, played by none other than Kelly Abernathy. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. And that's how it goes so far. Sounds good to me. Oh, I have a question. Hmm? Is this supposed to be funny? ooh hoo Just for that, guess who gets to play his sister? Hi, sis. Oh, brother. I don't understand what the big deal is. He just doesn't think they're right. But what's wrong with them? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was the way he was raised. I, I'm not sure. Have you talked to Jamie about it? No. No, maybe I could. I could ask him to not wear them for the sake of causing a brother to stumble. I don't know what he'd think about that. You want to see me? Uh, yeah, I was just telling Joanna what's going on. Yeah, look, uh, I'm sorry to cause some commotion here, but this is a pretty serious thing to me. I, I just can't look the other way. I'm surprised at your reaction, though. I don't quite understand. Look, Joanna, I was in the world for 28 years before I got saved. And I knew the world. I mean, I really knew the world. And I can tell when something is of the Spirit of God and when it's not. And believe me, this is a worldly thing. Well, even if it is, is it worth creating a division? It's the principle, Rudy. Sounds like borderline legalism to me. Oh, no. no. I hate legalism. This is not legalism. Are you sure? Look. Do you like what I'm wearing today? What? Do you like what I'm wearing today? I hadn't thought anything about it. I'm wearing pants. Some groups don't allow women to wear pants. Is this a sin? No, Joanna, it is not a sin for women to wear pants. 
You don't think it is, and I don't think it is. But certain groups think it is. So what do I do? I can't live to please certain groups. I have to live for the Lord and try and please Him. And He gives me the liberty in my heart that I feel it's not a sin to wear pants. What does this have to do with Jamie wearing earrings? What if Jesus wants him to wear earrings? I can assure you, Jesus does not want him wearing those things. If Jesus doesn't want Jamie to wear the earrings, then why don't we let Jesus tell him? Sounds like a plan to me. Look, let me make this real plain for both of you. Now, I love Jamie. I think he's a great guy. But I am not doing a show with him if he wears those things. Because if he does, you'll have to find yourself another actor. Gates just doesn't think they're right, Mr. Wheeler. He doesn't want Jamie to wear them in the show, and he says if he does, he won't perform. Sounds like we've got a little problem here. Yeah, I'd say so. Look, I don't like to bother you with this stuff, but it just seemed like it became an issue. You're not bothering me, Rudy. Don't ever even think that. Have you talked to Jamie about not wearing them? No, I haven't. Although my gut tells me he's not going to change his position either. All right, well, why don't you say something to him and uh, see if that works. And if it doesn't, just give me a call and I'll try and stop by later. All right, well, thanks, Mr. Wheeler. Mom, what am I good at? Son, you're good at lots of things. But what? I want to be like a lot of people out there who are famous or rich or are celebrities or have good jobs. So what am I good at? Well, son, you're good at roping calves and milking cows. Why, your daddy says you're the fastest at milking a cow he's ever seen. But I don't want to milk cows. I want to do something else. So what else am I good at? Well, son, I don't know. Let's ask your sister. Luann? Yes, Mama? What's your brother good at? Well, he's good at roping calves and milking cows. Daddy said he's the fastest he's ever seen. But what else am I good at? I don't know. I have to think about that. Yeah, me too. That's what Daddy said. Well, let us think about it. We'll get back to you. Okay. This is going to play pretty good. You guys are going to be funny. I hope. Now, I have the rest of this done, and Joanna's going to run off the script, so should have it to you later today. Cool. Hey, Jamie. Can I talk to you for a second? Be right there, Rudy. We're done for now. All right, thanks, guys. How's that routine coming, by the way? I think it's going to be okay. I haven't seen how it ends yet, but I think it'll work. Um, got a little problem I don't know what to do about. What's up? Well, it's, uh, it's your earrings. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> it's Gates. Look, I still think that he's joking. And even if he isn't, I'm still going to wear them. I think they look good. Well, they look fine. It's just he's pretty upset about them. Rudy, I'm not trying to hurt Gates, or anybody else for that matter. I just want to wear them. It's not a sin to wear earrings. Well, I'm not saying it is. Um, I'm just trying to keep peace in the family here. So, I mean, would you consider not wearing them for the sake of a brother? It's going to work out. Gates will come around. You'll see. Uh, I don't know. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. I'll catch you later. <laughs> okay. Hello, Gates. Mr. Wheeler, how you doing? I'm doing swell. How you doing? Can't complain. Good <laughs> to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. Hey, I saw the green room. Oh, yeah, the girls added a couple of things this week. No, Rudy gave him a little money from the budget, just trying to make things look a little better. Well, it sure does. <laughs> Mr. Wheeler, I want to ask you something. Sure. Is the theater doing okay financially? I mean, are you making any money? <laughs> I'm really not trying to make any money off the theater. I'm just trying to reach people for Christ. But to answer your question, the Lord's been keeping us going. And, you know, we've played to almost full houses for each performance, and we're making a small profit. For that, I'm thankful. That's good, sir. I'm glad to hear it. Say, so, you working on a new routine? Well, yes, man. I'm trying to write another routine for my New York City cab driver. <laughs> you got anything down yet? Well, just a little. I just, I just started. Can I hear it? Well, I, I really just started this. So. Well, come on, let me hear what you got. Um, uh, come on, this is my favorite character. 
Uh, okay. All right, great. You know the routine. A, a man gets in the cab. Take me to Times Square, will you? Step on it. I'm in a hurry. Sure, man. We'll get you there just as fast as I can. Well, just as fast as you can isn't good enough. Get me there faster. What's your hurry, man? Look, just drive, will you, man? I don't mean anything by it, friend. But usually when a person's in a big hurry, they're making a hasty decision. The Bible says he who is hasty will only come to one. Ever heard that verse before, man? No, and I don't care about that verse. And that's all I got. Rudy wanted me to write something on hastiness, and so that's what I was working for. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. You got a real practical routine there. I just hope you're not too hasty in your own judgments. They told me about uh, the little problem with Jamie here this morning. I'm sorry, Mr. Willis, sir, but that's, that's just how I feel. I cannot work with him if he's going to wear those things in the show. I understand. You do? Yeah, I completely understand. Well, I'm glad to hear that, because you're the only one. <laughs> Let me tell you a, a little story about something that happened to me once. I knew this guy that I did business with. He was in the ministry, but he had this little baseball card shop on the side, you know, selling baseball cards. No, there's nothing evil about baseball cards. A baseball card is a, a baseball card. I collected them <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> well, I was talking to this other guy one day, and I said, why does so-and-so sell baseball cards? What's that got to do with the Lord? I mean, I was being pretty judgmental and hasty in what I was saying and what I was thinking, but I was pretty sure of myself. I, I thought I was right. I reasoned, what do baseball cards have to do with the gospel? You know, I thought this guy was being pretty worldly, you know, trying to make a buck on the side. But later, I come to find out that he was selling baseball cards to try and help out his ministry because he wasn't making enough money. And he didn't want to be a burden on anybody. I see. The Lord showed me something that day. He showed me my great spiritual pride. I'll tell you what, Gates. Hit me like a ton of bricks. I was judging somebody because they were doing something that I wouldn't do. But you know, it wasn't necessarily something that the Lord didn't want him to do. That's a pretty good story. <laughs> well, it isn't just a story because it's true. Think about it, Gates. I will. Good. It's good seeing you again. Take care. You too, Mr. Willow. Dad, Mom, Sis, what am I good at? Well, son. Well, son. Well, brother. And don't say anything about the farm. I want to be like a, a sports hero or a president or somebody famous. Well, son, that may not be what God wants you to be. But I think it'd be fun to be a great football player or chairman of a big company. I want to be somebody. But you are, brother. You're the fastest daddy ever seen milking a cow. No, I want to be somebody. Well, son, you are somebody. You're the best son a mother could ever wish for. That's right, son. You're the most special boy any father could have. Isn't he the most special brother, Lou Ann? Well... Lou Ann. Yes, you are the most special brother. You see, son, you don't want to be like somebody else just to be like somebody else. You want to be yourself because of who God created you to be. There's a great peace in being yourself in the Lord. That's your line, Jamie. Jamie. Uh, wait a second, Travis. I got me to thinking about something. What, is it not good? No, it's great. Does it not make any sense? No. It makes perfect sense. Can you guys excuse me for a minute? Hey, Gates, you got a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. I need to talk to you. Yeah, I, um, I need to talk to you, too. Look, uh, I'm really sorry for the way I spoke about the earrings. I was way out of line, very judgmental, and I was wrong. 
You know, when I became a Christian over 20 years ago, I was deep into the world. And the Lord has been opening my eyes to things ever since. The main thing he's been working with me with has been my, my heart's attitude towards things. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I ain't ever gonna put an earring in my ear. But the truth is, it doesn't matter whether you wear an earring or not. That ain't gonna keep you out of heaven. God's looking at your heart for him. He ain't looking at your ears. Thanks, Gates. And I wanna ask you to please forgive me because I'm really sorry. I forgive you. Thanks, man. I want you to know that God used you, though, so don't be so hard on yourself. I just realized something a minute ago. The real reason I'm wearing these earrings is because I saw a lot of other people wearing them. I never consulted God on this. I didn't ask to see what he thought. I did it because I thought it was cool and it was based on other people. So I am going to pray to God about it and if he gives me peace in my heart, well, I just might keep on wearing them. But until I talk to the Lord and get clear direction on it, these stay off.